Do I have a pimple on my lip? Oh man. Alright. Hi, my name is Zena and welcome to my channel. Wow. So this is my second attempt to film this video. I tried to film this video a couple days ago and was interrupted by everything including my cat, my neighbor, airplanes, my battery kept dying, it kept running out of memory, I really did not prepare. So I'm just going to refilm it. I am going to show you today how I do my really quick 10 minute makeup. This is what has turned into my everyday makeup look these days because we're not going anywhere. We're in a pandemic, you know? I'm not really working that much and I wear a mask over half of my face. So there's really no need to do a full face makeup every day. So to start off, I have a clean face. The only thing I think I have on is um, some serum and a nice bruise on my nose. I don't want to talk about it. So I'll show you what I start with my skin prep. I'm not going to go too deep into my skin prep because that's like a whole other video and if you want to see a skincare video I can but I'll just kind of show you what I throw on really quick. So my skin has been really dry these days because of winter. Well our version of winter here in California in LA we don't really get a winter but for my California but it's been cold and dry. Do you hear that noise? That's my upstairs neighbor. This is what I hear every single morning. So for some extra hydration today, I'm putting on the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum from First Aid Beauty. I really like this. It's light, but it's moisturizing. I just do like one little pump. And I'm gonna put this on my face gently. And I kind of massage and pat it into my skin. I like this serum because it's like kind of sticky. It almost ask, asks, acts, it almost acts like a primer. Can you tell it's been a while since I've done this? And I'm just going to follow with a moisturizer. It's a little bit late in the day right now, but I always put on sunscreen. Even if you're inside your house, put on sunscreen during the day because UV rays still get in your house through your windows and you still are getting hit with UV rays, sun rays. So for my sunscreen, I'm using Murad's Perfecting Day Cream with the broad spectrum of 30 SPF. And I'm just going to put about that much on. A little goes a long way. Okay, first things first, I'm going to start with my brows. If you don't follow me on Instagram, well then you don't know this because I haven't shared this on YouTube yet. But if you do follow me on Instagram, which you should, you'll know that I use soap for my brows. So I use, ugh, there's hair on it, but I use Paris soap and a spoolie and some setting spray. And then I'm going to brush up my brows. I'm going to do a full tutorial on this later, but oh my god, watch me spend 10 minutes just on my eyebrows. Come on, Zena. This is not an eyebrow tutorial, Zena. Hurry up. Okay, that's basically all I do for my brows, especially when I'm in a rush. I'm going really slow right now because I'm describing everything and it takes longer to describe all of this than to actually just do it. So it's probably going to end up being more than 10 minutes long, <laughs> but bear with me. What do I do next? Oh, so while my brows are kind of drying, I am going to go in with straight away with some skin coverage. I have a little bit of breakouts right now. I have this bruise on my nose. I am going to put a little bit of the BB cream on. This is really light coverage. It's not full foundation. Full foundation? It's not full coverage foundation. It's really light and it also has SPF in it. And the one that I use is from Jane Irwindale. It's called Glow Time. And this is a full coverage mineral BB cream. It says full coverage, but it's pretty light. And it has a SPF 25, so it's more SPF. And I'm just going to put this on an IT Cosmetics airbrush blurring foundation brush. And I'm not putting a ton on there. Just putting some on the brush and kind of dabbing this on my face. Um, again, this is like <laughs> a Dio. She always has to be the center of attention. This is like my really rough, like I'm really not doing full coverage at all. It's just kind of to even out my skin tone a little bit. And I'm just going to put a little bit over my eyes. And what I do with these foundation brushes, since they're kind of like a kabuki brush, round brush, um, I press the product in, kind of like what I would do with a beauty blender. But when I'm in a rush, sorry, I'm distracted by my cat. I don't have time to like whip out the beauty blender, wet it, all that stuff. So this is realistically 
what I do and I just do about that much I'm not doing full coverage because there's a mask going on my face typically on work days if I am going to work on set I actually don't put any makeup on this lower half of my face. I'm usually working on set for like 12 hours and I don't want all of that to just be sitting underneath a mask all day long. So I actually load my face with skincare on set days so that I'm like giving myself like a little facial throughout the day basically. That's about as much as I do with the foundation. Now I'm going to go over with just a little bit of concealer. The concealer that I've been using is the YSL All Hours Concealer. Yeah, in the shade, this is 0.5, so this is kind of light, but that's because I'm pretty pale right now. And I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm just going to put a little bit where I need it. This is pretty, it's light but pigmented, this concealer. I like it a lot because it doesn't feel too heavy, and it's like pretty moisturizing. It's not very drying, and to put it on, I'm just going to tap it underneath my eye like that and I put a little bit on my lid again this is my 10 minute I'm running out the door maybe going to Starbucks maybe going to the grocery store kind of a look and then I'm just going to kind of tap that in with my fingers and then I carry it down right here I don't put a lot of product on my nose because I'm going to be wearing a mask but I am going to put just a little bit on that bruise that I got <laughs> If you follow me on Instagram, you know what the bruise is from. It's probably not going to be fully covered, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to put a little bit here for me, just to cover up some of my acne spots. Okay, and then I'm just taking my brush just to kind of even that out a little bit. Any spot that I put concealer. I do usually put a little bit of something on my eyes. Normally, if I'm going out for like the whole day, I'll actually put eyeshadow primer on my eyelids because that is so important. But because this is my 10 minute makeup look, what I do is I actually just use concealer. Concealer does not block the moisture that comes in, like the oil that comes in on your eyelids. So it's not going to act as the best eyeshadow base by any means. So all of the people that use just straight up concealer as an eyeshadow base, it's not going to lock in your eyeshadows as well as an eyeshadow primer would. So really quick, just to add some bronzer, um, I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer, this little test tube. I don't really like a lot of products from Milk, but I do like this guy. And I'm just putting it on the high points of my face and a little bit on my nose, not a ton. A little goes a long way for this and I like it because it's really creamy so it's really moisturizing. I usually only do cream bronzers and contours nowadays. So I'm not doing a full contour at all. I'm just using this bronzer to warm up my face so this is not like, I'm like using the bronzer as con contour but it's not actual contour. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> so I'm kind of just patting that in to where I like my bronzer on my face. Everybody's different and I'm being so rough because this is what I do to myself. But I like this one because look at how dewy it is. I'm trying not to look at my little monitor so I apologize if I keep looking over there it's because I'm looking at my monitor. So that's like pretty much all I do for my base. Now to set everything, I'm using an old school powder puff. These things are amazing. And my favorite setting powder, the RCMA No Color Powder. This powder is awesome. It works on every skin tone because it doesn't have any color. And I'm just putting a little bit on my powder puff and I go like this. I like pressing it into the skin. I feel like it lasts longer. And because I have really oily skin, this is like what works best. I'm sorry that Indio is back there. So I'm just taking this and I'm anywhere I put my foundation, anything, concealer, I'm just gently pressing this into the skin. This helps set my makeup and it helps it not transfer as much when I put my mask on. And that's it. I like the powder because it fills in my pores really well. I have large pores, unfortunately. And then if I'm really filling up to it, I put on a little bit of blush. This is from Buxom Cosmetics. And I'm doing this so fast because... This is supposed to be fast, just like that.
Now I do like adding some dimension to my eyes. I'm not going to do eyeliner or anything like that extreme. I usually just put a little bit of eyeshadow on my eye, nothing crazy. I just do one color just to add some dimension to my eyes. For today I'm using the Pat McGrath Mothership Palette. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going in with this like light brown whatever this honey brown color is. And I'm just putting a little bit on this blending brush. And I'm going to focus this on the outside of my eye and blend it into my crease. And Pat McGrath eyeshadows a little goes a long way. Like this actually is probably a lot more dramatic than what I normally do. And I do this all with one brush because I'm in a rush. And the same on the other side. But I kind of just do like the soft brown. So it looks like I took time to do my makeup when I really didn't. That's it for eyeshadow. The second to last step I do is some mascara. The telescopic. I use the carbon black one from L'Oreal. It works so good. I'm one of those annoying people that doesn't have to curl their lashes. I'm sorry. I just don't. I actually don't own a personal eyelash curler. Look at that definition. It's crazy. And then I'm just going to throw on a little bit underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to just throw on a lip gloss. One of my favorite lip glosses has been the Buxom Full-On Plumping Lip Cream. I really like it a lot. It does plump my lips a little bit, but I like the color. Like, I have really dry lips and they peel all the time, so they always have these little red spots. And look at how much that evens out my lip color. It's crazy. It almost looks like I have lipstick on, but I don't. It's a lip gloss. It's hydrating. And it covers like the discoloration of my lips, which I love. And then just for a good measure, I just press in a little bit more powder. And that's it. That's my 10 minute running out the door makeup look. <laughs> I can't even tell you how much smoother filming this video went than my last one. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Anyways, I hope that this video helped. Oh gosh, I got the plumping stuff in my mouth. If you like this video, make sure to actually like and don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to comment down below any other looks that you want me to try. I'm going to try and post more. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting a lot of makeup tutorials on there. My TikTok has like surpassed my Instagram account, which has been pretty cool. But yeah, thank you so much for watching.